actually, before we get to the architecture, I just wanted to drill a little bit deeper. I just want to make sure that we understand who we're building our product for and why. I want to make sure that we understand the different end users, their pain points, and make sure that we come up with a solution that can actually solve those pain points. Upon further investigation, and also observing the workflow of how the reports get generated for the CEO, it became evident that there are other users. We found out that there are three types of different end users that we actually use this system and build reports for the CEO. So this is a case where the end user is actually different from our customer, and our customer is the CEO who wants to make the purchase. There are actually three different end user segments. The first is a data scientist, the second is a data engineer, and the third is a BI analyst. Let's go through the pain points for each of these different end users. Today, the data scientist essentially gets his training data by talking to the business analyst to pull down data and send it to him. Instead, the data scientist wants a situation where this is seamless, where they can easily go to some system, pull the data down, and analyze it. In terms of tools, the data scientist prefers to use RStudio, and so whatever we build has to support RStudio. What about the BI analyst? The BI analyst wants the same thing as the data scientist. He essentially wants to be able to go to his system, pull down data, and have an option of tools to create reports. In addition, the BI analyst also wants to be able to share his reports. Today, he only has a snapshot. He essentially downloads the spreadsheet, builds his report, and sends it out. But what if the data changes the next minute? What if it changes in an hour? He has to repeat the whole process if another report is required. But he wants a seamless system that constantly updates after he's done the work the first time. In terms of tools, the BI analyst wants to be able to use Tableau to create rich graphs and charts. In addition, they want to be able to use a SQL command line interface to write simple SQL queries. The BI analyst is not an expert SQL user and typically relies on the data engineer to write more complicated SQL code. And finally, let's talk about the data engineer. They want a stable system that would not only meet the requirements, but also run smoothly without sending out pager duty alerts while they're sleeping. And as I mentioned earlier, they also support the BI analyst with more complicated SQL queries. From all of this investigation and customer interviews, we came up with the following requirements for our system. The system has to support three different types of clients. The first one is Tableau. The second one is a SQL interface. And the third one is RStudio. Another requirement is that the system should be able to support the ability to query data from three different data sources, not just query data, but also combine data from these different sources. And this is where we're going to use Presto. And in terms of the three data sources that it needs to support, it needs to be able to support HDFS, support MySQL, and support Kafka. So these are the three requirements that the system has to meet. I just want to make sure that we understand end users, their pain points, and make sure that we come up with a solution that can actually solve those pain points.